Hey everyone, it's morning, it's Splatoon 3, it's the Direct. I'm gonna watch it, I haven't seen any of this yet, and uh, I'm gonna talk about it. This is a game that I'm excited about. I loved Splatoon 2, loved 1, uh, maybe didn't get obsessive, but I enjoyed them very much. So, let's start it. How come when I do it, it doesn't have reverb? Is that a red-tailed hawk? This is Splatsville, in the heart of the Splatlands. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen enormous Hike. growth in recent years. All right, it's now, also the film hottest it at night. new place for inklings looking for things to do. With rain. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. Hope you're all staying fresh. I almost forgot about introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. Squid, squid form. Studying their biology day and night. I like how they're always fascinated by these squid kids. Like every time, every game, it's Today, always like, holy like to crap! Share some new findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. I see some graphical improvements. Of course, what goes for the inklings Very shiny. Also Look how shiny that is. To the octolings. We're sure of it. First, turf war. Get styling with some fresh fashion and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, turf war battles are the locals' favorite pastime. Two I teams of them. four will ink for three minutes. Oh man. The team that inks the most That's in a lot of color, inking in, other in three words, minutes. Claims the most turf, wins. If you ink that long, sometimes it gets now, painful. That's not all inking is for. Ink walls to swim up. Oh, we're getting like a complete well, newbie's guide to Splatoon. Ink to splat opponents. The more ink you spread, the bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. Whoops. If you're out of ink, submerge in it to refill. New techniques like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single burst. Oh. And the squid roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. Oh. More mobility options is nice. Oh, while it's glowing like this, the move also slightly repels ink from opponents. I see. Thank you for slowing the footage down. We've discovered where it looks nice visually. Will take place. I like to Stages shit on the Nintendo Switch's the game power. Scorch Gorge. Field Hail Alley. But with the right developer, Mincemeat Metalworks. You can you can and get some nice looking stuff. Spillway. There seem to be other stages as well. Hagglefish Market. A pier filled to the bream with street vendors. Oh, I see what you the did. The stuff here looks fishy, though. Several stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Museum Delfoncino. Battles here take place in the central courtyard of this modern You museum. must understand, I do not remember which take maps were in the previous game. The rotating wall. I mean, Hammerhead I would if I played bridge. on them. This bridge connects Greater Inkopolis to the Splatland. That's cool. After lots of construction work, it's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, transit to and from Greater Inkopolis is much easier. I see Mahi those Mahi LOD Resort. FPS. A luxury Ooh, I like this one. In Greater Inkopolis. Pay close attention to the platforms that sink as the battle goes on. There will be more areas to ink afterward. So don't forget to splat. Is that a wacky waving arm inflatable squid? Including the stages with you no see arms. Here, a total of 12 await. Okay. That's a pretty good amount. More stages will be added in free post-launch updates. Nice. Okay, good. Lots of content. One of the complaints people had was Splatoon 2 now, came out too soon into after the one. The essence of battles. Weapons. And it was too similar, but by the time First, the um, Octoling DLC the came out, weapons from previous games will be available. I thought it was great. 
On top of that, Splatland specific weapon types, such as the bow like stringers, will make their destructive debut. Sick. We've also verified Please be good. a new weapon type called Splatanas. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the Splatana Wiper. Send blades of ink flying with the centrifugal force generated by swinging. Swing after charging up a bit, it's and it'll transform into a charged oh, yeah. slash. As expected, I like this one. it's powerful as a long-range attack. But the charged slash at close range is also quite devastating. Like there's so many weapons in the previous game, Let's it makes you wonder how the do they keep, like how are they going to add more? more That's how they did it. Special weapons. Oh, that looks cool. As the name implies. These are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. There are some new types we've identified, so let's take a closer look. This is the Tactic Cooler. When I thought that was a can of tuna. A fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored Like, that would inside. be kind of weird. These have a variety of effects. This is weird, too. Like it's cool, though. increasing speed. But just they throwing a can of tuna. <laughs> So take one and share the rest with your teammates. It's kind of a little morbid when you think about the fish theme of the game. This is the wave breaker. When activated, I thought that was a shuttlecock. Waves around the area. It's a It'll thumper. It'll also mark an opponent's location and cause damage. And Shai Halud is also Try to avoid summoned. Them with a well-timed jump. Interesting. Finally, the reef slider. Build up power, then charge into opponents. It's a shark with a Hannibal Lecter uh, <laughs> muzzle. Once ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. Familiar special weapons That's a good one. like the Tenta missiles, Ink Jet, Ink Storm, Ultra Stamp, and Booyah Bomb make will no mistake. also make their grand return. I love the multiplayer in Splatoon, but the single player is totally underrated. Special weapons are paired with main I think. Weapons. So find the combo that suits your splatting style. Especially that Octoling DLC. It was hard, but it was really good. But even the default Shop like base game stuff had like a little bit of a Mario Sunshine weapons. Galaxy feel to it. It was good. This is Ammo Knights, owned by the chatty horseshoe crab Sheldon. The locals have praised him for his weapon, weapon wisdom and sophisticated selection. Sheldon's graphics is good. Instead of using in-game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. Please don't have to spend real money on them. them by leveling up through battles. Oh, good. And by consistently using the same weapons. One Sheldon license can be exchanged for one weapon that corresponds to your level. Okay. I mean, it's similar in, in a, you know, oh, slightly different from what us, I remember. If you exchange more Sheldon licenses than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. By the way, the Inklings and Octolings walking around town are pretty savvy about their fashion. There's a Things whole like meta game. Clothing and shoes are just as important as like, weapons. This series got huge. And a good chunk of it <laughs> is the fashion the stuff. Here. I'm totally out of that world. I just like to shoot. Managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. This is not Couture, a headgear shop. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses, so you can get ahead of the game. The I'm laid uncomfortable. The Nautilus, Gnarly Eddie. Yeah, and I, don't, I don't like energetic that. Energetic nails. The snail sitting here. Run the shop. I like the snail. This is the clothes boutique, Mana Wardrobe. It specializes in tops, like t-shirts and jackets. The shopkeeper, Gel Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. Yeah, I don't even know how to feel and about finally, this stuff because the, the fashion is the least interesting thing about the game for me. Kicks here, from sneakers to sandals, but again, I know that this is leather footwear. like you can get Birkenstocks and it's shit, owned by Mr. <laughs> and Jordans and you Yeezys, intimidating. Down, and it's really popular. Nice Probably not for me. You're I just think, like, you know, get a... Based on its appearance. 
but they do come with abilities that get a good ability and i'm happy i also like splatoon music quite a bit it can increase your running speed I'm looking forward to the new tunes. Or intensify action. This improves the squid roll and squid surge moves. There are even more abilities to discover. Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. Well, you're almost like human sized. Talk to Merch here, and you can add an ability of your Oy. choosing to your favorite gear. And if you save your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits, you can change in a flash. Flavor up your fashion with whatever outfits you want. Mental. Simply splat task. Where's the Samus outfit? I wouldn't mind Nintendo crossover outfits. Welcome to the lobby, a gathering spot for those seeking fresh battles. Are they going to have the drawn Turf things? Battles aren't the only things? Think about how many here. Amogus you penises you're going to see in this lobby Anarchy if you can still draw. Where you compete for rankings. Hold the active zones in splat zones. Ride the tower to the goal in tower control. Okay. I like this one. Carry the rainmaker to its destination I like in rainmaker. most of the game modes. Or Collect and throw clams to score. I just in love that blitz. it's a shooter that's fun. You get out in these four Doesn't modes, take itself too seriously, location. but yet the competition can get really serious. Want to take on a challenge solo? As someone who's played Anarchy shooters battles, his whole life, but if you want to, I like the friends, series. I like what it does Anarchy with the genre. Battle open is the way to go. You can also play private battles online. Set battle modes and other options to your liking. Why not play with your favorite battle modes alongside friends? Friends? Information about these friends. game modes will be available soon on the game's official website. We need more information. If they had this for now, E3 let's time, let's talk about the features within the lobby. With a couple other games, I this think it would have been is cool. The test range. But hey, we're getting Try it now. Out and get comfy with your weapons here. Besides being able to practice whenever you want, it's also a great place to get all warmed up. Man, they are really going over everything. I mean, it's a half hour long, but Next up, ghosts. Ghosts. Online friends will appear ghosts. as 3D holograms. Someone call Zach Baggins. friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. You can also join up and start a battle on the same team. Huh. You'll be able to see what your friends are up to. It appears that you can okay. also call out to friends in the lobby and invite them for battles. Why not see these features for yourself? All right. This is where you can view battle replays. It appears that it can somewhat recreate recent battles. Somewhat? Fast forward. Wow, it's like Ace Combat. <laughs> or skip to a certain part. Or even swap this makes to another me player's view. Think of Call of Incredible. Duty death replays. I can't believe Not Nintendo's only can you done this. Battles as many times as you'd like, but there's even a share feature. We hope you'll use this handy tool to help you rank up. I mean, it's in Smash and Mario Kart too, right? Next, we'll analyze and discuss this space within the lobby, the locker room. Oh, it's the place where The Rock advertises Here, energy drink and talks about how sweaty he is. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. As you can see, you'll be able to place any acquired weapons, gear, the hell? And items to your liking. <sighs> Slap on some snazzy stickers. Okay, this is just like... Modify your locker's color. This, this is, is fun, your space and it fits the game so well. Customize it however you but like this just reminds me of Call of Duty calling cards. Oh, yes. Items can be obtained at Hotlantis. It's neat, though. General store on and unique. Splatsville. Apparently, the store manager vanishes quite often. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's got an outlandish assortment of items. 
Why not show the store some love by grabbing some goods? So in other words, you can play this game for 100 hours and just keep unlocking stuff. Customization Got it. Features as well. Oh, and some people will get 100 hours in the first two weeks. They can be customized with a badge. Oh, they even have this. Badge and title. This is the Call of Duty thing. I don't remember if this was in Split 2. Additionally, too. you can change the emote your character performs when you win a battle. Also, very Call of Duty. It's just this is modern shooters All of these have can this. Be obtained via the in-game catalog, which will be available at Hotlantis. Is she using the super hand? Using points earned for ah. Battles, you can unlock various items like stuff for God damn it. and seasonal gear. Following the game's launch, a new catalog is planned every three months for two I'm years. I'm sorry. Be Get sure to pipe. snatch up everything you see in each catalog. Okay, so they're going to be laying the DLC on thick. Phew. There's still a lot like of info ink. to share, but I need to take a little breather here. Me too. I could use my coffee. It in is the in the morning. It, it, it is the morning, rather. It's it's 10:30. I think this was uploaded just like a half hour ago. Let's find Introducing out. Introducing Table Turf Battle! Lay out your cards yep. for a dazzling deck duel! What the hell is this? Ink different shapes with different cards! Charge up power, then unleash it all at once with a special attack! No shit! There are cards like this. Cards? And even ones like this. I fucking and love cards. There are 50 cards to collect in game. So build your deck and send your rivals packing. <laughs> the Spotsville locals eagerly await your challenge. Table turf battle. Every player will be gifted an in game starter deck. What if I play that more oh, than the main game? Me. I lost my clam poosier for a second there. Clam poosier? That was Table Turf Battle, a 1v1 competitive card battle spin off of Turf War. It appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. Oh my be on God. The lookout for more details about Table Turf Battle in the future. I love when games have a and bonus now, card game. This. Oh, this is this is the good shit. Please be available all the time, though, please. Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the salmonids advancing on them. This part-time gig is rumored to be a little fishy, but it pays pretty well. By defeating particularly ferocious creatures called boss salmonids, you can obtain valuable golden eggs. You'll need to collect and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. This is one of those things now where this game is huge. This time around, we've How do you top new this? Types of boss salmonids. So let's share our findings. I guess just add more and more and more First things. Up, the slamming lid. I don't think we're going to see another Barriers Splatoon for like five, six years. Switch to. But this seems like Get logical to conclusion. It, it'll attempt to crush you. So I mean, approach with caution. Maybe it's a trilogy. Next, but my god, the amount the of stuff shot. in this game just packed to the gills. Projectiles from a distance. Be prepared for powerful shockwaves when they land. With new boss salmon it's confirmed, make sure you're ready for an even more dangerous salmon run. I do like this game mode though, I enjoyed it a lot. Get in the chopper. Oh, they've got kaijus. One of the new king salmon. It's unbelievable. It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. I like the acting, the voice acting of this. The, the, uh, the you know, the narrator. Is a specially provided <laughs> egg cannon, and it appears that you can fire golden eggs to deal massive damage. Oh. However, these battles are under a time limit, so rack up as much damage as possible to drive them back. And this, this is the still being researched big run. Big we run? Believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. It appears that this event happens once every few months. 
So brace yourself. Once every few months. Save oh, they are doing the time coming. stuff. I'm fine with that as long as like it's available all the time. Return now, of the Mammalians. This is what this I'm curious about. In Splatsville Square. Isn't this that a is Dragon Ball Z character? To the home of the Octarians, the Inklings' longtime enemies. As Agent Three, the newest recruit of the new Squidbeak Splatoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose members are oh, covered in those are familiar hair faces. For some reason. Along with your buddy, upside down Fry, city. You'll explore many stages, each one full of twists and turns. I love this shit. I love these little puzzles. The oh, the shooting. Forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with inking turf and using weapons. So newer players might want to try it out. And it's just good. Well, we've come this far. What awaits the Inklings and Octolings in the end? We hope you can witness the epic finale of this splatastic saga. So it, yeah, they're doing it like a trilogy, and concluding We're back this part of the story, I guess. From here on out, they didn't really like devote a whole lot to the single player help you for this trailer, even for this direct. Game. But I'm still gonna play it. It's gonna be cool. Via this mailbox. I trust Splatoon. Displayed all across the I trust city, them. And even in stages. So put on your artist cap and post away. Amogus. Illustrations will also be penis. Supported. Why are you in my you game? Can grab food and drinks that'll help you in battles at the concession stand. Amogus. Penis. Local communication Why are you in this game? In favorite modes at the shoal. By using photo mode, you can snap selfies, send photos to a smart device. Everything needs a photo mode. Social media has made sure of that. Best this photo mode, Cyberpunk, easily. Select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them. Listen, get unless Shrimp Lady is in this game. Uh, there, you know what? There will actually probably be a Shrimp Lady. It'll just be a shrimp. This is Splatnet 3. Nah. You can use this with your smart device. Oh, it people are going to get like really into this. Battle stats. And ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops from the Splatnet gear shop. But that's not all. Access features like Krusty Sean's Wonder Crust. That's me. So I'm <laughs> Krusty Sean. Ink points earned depending on the areas Wonder you Crust? during battles. Wanderlust, a wander crust. Or view history to take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart device. So be sure to grab them. It appears that Splatnet 3 will be available at launch via the Nintendo Switch Online mobile app. Again, <clears throat> I use that app. Out of necessity, up, maybe a couple Amiibo times. Figures. I don't even remember why. Scan Splatoon series but Amiibo at this spot in Splatoon. Not into it. And voila! Saving your favorite gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. Additionally, it's they really slowed be down the Amiibo gear. stuff, didn't they? Even snap photos together with Amiibo. And Splatoon 3 Amiibo incoming. Oh, I like the one on the right. Release is scheduled for this holiday. Small fry. Pretty cool. I have a pretty now, substantial amiibo. Not huge, but it's 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 decent. It's definitely decent. As we mentioned a while ago. You got to get your stuff like Cloud launch, and Dragon Quest Hero, of course. Will be released every 3 months for 2 years. Every 3 months for 2 years. New weapons will also be added around the same time as each catalog. Okay. So they're going to be supporting the fuck out of this game like they did Splatoon 2. In addition, X Battle, available after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle, and League Battle, where every two hours you can compete in teams based on your Anarchy Battle results, are planned to be added in future updates. Okay. Furthermore, for Is this, this all going to be on the test? We're planning to add large scale paid DLC. If it's anything like Octoling expansion, so please be on the lookout. And it's that good? And now, I'd like to wrap up this research I would get report it. from the Squid Research Lab. Thank you for watching. Huh? Who are you supposed
supposed to be. Is this the new announcers? Listen, I love the announcers and everything. It adds um, a, a nice flavor to the game, but ple please let us skip the stuff as soon as we start the game. That's all I ask. Please, for the love of God. Shiver. Big man. It's just a manta, um, a manta ray? Is that a manta ray? So, sh sh fire festival? Yo, we're going to the fire festival? Oh, squid. I completely forgot to tell you about Deep Cut. <laughs> Deep Cut, what They're a great name. They're an incredibly popular trio who hosts the Splatsville news program. Anarchy yeah, people are going to fucking lose their shit. There's going to be so, so much debate. Battle stages, as well as other news bulletins. And fan fiction. And wars on the internet. The youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. Sea they cucumber can check phones. While doing other activities, as shown here. And. That's what I wanted to see. What the city looked like at night. I mean, it's not raining and it's not neon enough. But I like, um, <clears throat> I like that the art pulsate, pulsates. <sighs> yeah, people are gonna like this. I mean, if you just follow the Splatoon 2 formula, and just add more things, which is what this is, but it's been a while since we had Splatoon 2, so I mean, it's like when Left 4 Dead 2 came out and people were upset because it was so close to Left 4 Dead 1. It's like, wow, it's more of the same. Meanwhile, it's still amazing and they added so much stuff to it. And I feel like Splatoon 2 eventually did establish itself as something really incredible. And this became fucking huge for Nintendo. This this series, I never expected it to get this big, but... I mean, it definitely captures a certain age group. And even so, I still think it's for everyone. Like, I'm 37, I love playing Splatoon. It's a lot of fun. When did Splatoon 2 come out? Two thousand seventeen, July twenty first. Jesus. Splatfest will make a return. Splatfest events, return. You pick a team based on the announced theme. Then How has it been the five years? Battle. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Splatfests consist of two halves. In the first half, teams will compete in four v four turf war battles. The second half is a tricolor turf war. Huh. It's a special mode where, whoa, three teams fight at the same time. Okay, that's new. All players on the team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. I was and hoping it would be more than four versus four, themselves. but. Or will the other two teams exact revenge and force them out? Use the Ultra Signal to control the battle and contribute to the Splatfest while working alongside the members of Deep Cut. Okay. Okay. It's interesting. We're going to close out this presentation with an announcement from Deep Cut. Take it away. God, there's so many announcements. This is a long-ass direct for one game, but I guess a game like this, that's just the amount of stuff in it. <laughs> you lip sync, we drip ink. Eight twenty-seven. Splatfest world premiere. 
Why? That's in 17 days. Pre-release Splatfest. Rock, paper, or scissors. <laughs> okay. Ant Dude posted a picture. Under, over, or bidet in regards to toilet paper. Well, now that there's three choices, they can do a whole new group of things. The theme is three. Now, if only Valve would learn about this, this magical number, the third number. They're just arguing. They're just arguing about rock, paper, and scissors. <laughs> it's, it seems like that's going to be happening a lot. Again, I, I like them. I would, you know, like to be able to skip them um, if the game starts. And I have to watch a couple minutes of announcements. Just, just a skip button would be, would be great. And now, announcing... The Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational 2022 Tournament. Oh. This event will take place on September 5th at PAX West. Thousands of announcements. Some of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Follow the official Nintendo vs. Twitter account for updates. And to see more of our research findings as we uncover them, Follow the official Splatoon North American. But wait, we have one more we announcement. You'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. Bye bye. It's a new Smash character. Okay, well, just to wrap up my thoughts, that was a very, very extensive presentation. Sure, a lot of it still looked like Splatoon 2, just in regards of, like, yeah, there's a Salmon Run, there's Versus, there's a single player. But all the little extra things including the card game, <laughs> were the surprising things, and I enjoyed that. Um, this is a good series for Nintendo. I like that they have a competitive shooter. I like that, you know, it's colorful. I like that it's fun, doesn't take itself too seriously, like I said. And yet, you can get really deep into the mechanics of this game. And I've seen it. Boy, people are really good at this shit. By the time Splatoon 3 comes out, though, I'm going to be wretched because I was already not amazing at Splatoon 2. Sure, I would play it for a few weeks. I would get better at it. But the amount of people who have been playing this game pretty consistently for years, they're going to fucking wipe the floor with me. But that's OK. There's also going to be a lot of new people, too. I can't believe it's been five years. Five years is a long time. It feels a little fast because the past five years have been just a lot. And it's just nuts to think that the Switch has been out as long as it has. And it's nuts to think that Splatoon 2, which felt still kind of new-ish in my mind, was that long ago. But it's, again, Splatoon 3, just more. It looks like it's going to be another hit. People are going to really lose their shit over it and it's going to sell really well. Um, as long as they keep it supported with new maps and weapons and whatever that DLC will, will be, which again, I hope is a single player DLC because um, the Octoling expansion was really good. So yeah, not much else to say. Good direct. Um, people complaining that we didn't get a Nintendo direct for E3 time. The amount of announcements <clears throat> that they had, if they had them around that time, and they just combine them, it would have been pretty good, I think. But I don't mind getting little piecemeal things like this, too. This is fine, as long as we are getting news and new games. And uh, this is going to be one that people are going to be playing a lot of. I'm probably looking forward to Bayonetta 3, just a little bit more. But um, definitely looking forward to this. 
and Bayonetta 3 way more than Pokemon, which maybe I'll pick up. I didn't even watch the presentation they did on that game. So anyway, Splatoon, thank you for watching. I don't really know if I contributed very much with my commentary, but I enjoyed watching it at the very least. I'm very excited for cards and for the bow weapon and for more salmon. Goodbye. And, uh, you know, do you think maybe there would be like a tempura pun or would that be a little too grim, you know, like deep frying a fish? Probably, you know, grim. All right. Well, pain is only temporary.